Kenya produces about 100,000 metric tons of honey annually. But I've been questioning why not much is being done to exploit modern beekeeping today. <laughs> People have the misconception that beekeeping is easy. At you make a two box kwa corner uko kwa shamba, then you just wait. <laughs> no, it can be very profitable, but that, what that calls for is for a lot of interaction with your bees. The thing I can guarantee you is that you'll make a lot of mistakes. Most people who start big, I've noticed, end up giving up somewhere in the middle. It's easier to start small and then build your capacity as you, as you move along, the more experienced you get. The day is finally here and I'm honored to be doing this video alongside my dad who offered to drive me all the way to Moranga County to bring you the most requested story on my social media platforms. Ohoro anyu my friends. Moriega. <laughs> Receive greetings from Moranga County. It's the weekend and I'm here courtesy of Jason Bruno, the founder of OK Honey KA. Beekeeping or apiculture is the maintenance of bee colonies in their artificial beehives. Remember, Kenya produces about 100,000 metric tons of honey annually. But I've been questioning why not much is being done to exploit modern beekeeping today. So I'm here to educate you guys and I'll give Jason the platform to do so as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Brenda Nyambura. Todiei. <laughs> Heartfelt thank you to Jason once again for the invitation. Dad and I found him in the middle of his masterclass, which he told me about weeks ago. He was kind enough to let us introduce ourselves to everyone and explain the nature of our visits. Jason assured me that we would catch up right after his class and instructed Jonah to take us round his farm. We are heading to the bee yard right now. I'm all geared up, as you can see and i really don't know what to expect but from what i've gotten from jason's class is bees have the ability to detect new guys aka us and they have the ability to detect people through smell and through multiple interactions over time so i really hope that all these gears are going to you know keep us safe but I'll keep you updated, super excited to be bringing you this video, uh, please stay tuned. Toolbox iko na vitu zonye tunatumianga kwa nyuki, kuna hii tunaita bee blush, kuna hii hive tools, hii ni yabana tunaweka kwa gas, tukiwasha ama tukiosha hizo Nyumba za nyuki na kuna hizi vibeliti na tunaweka vitu zingine kama lemon grass hii ni mafuta after kuosha hiyo nyumba ya nyuki tunapulizia hii mafuta inanuka tu kama queen sasa nyuki watakaribia <coughs> na kuna vitu kama hii tunaita wax hii tunaweka pale kwa kwa hiyo nyumba ya nyuki ku guide Kugaidi hiyo nyuki mahali zitajengea, sikiingea. Kuna zile nini signs tunaweka anga. Kunyesha hapo karibu kuna, kuna nyuki. Tea farming is a significant part of the economy in Moranga with an estimation of 10 tea factories and many tea farmers in this region. Jason is the first apiarist we've ever met in County 021. So before entering the area, we had to wear our suits, a hat, veil and elbow length gloves for further protection. Um, I want to take you guys along to see how these beehives are cleaned because they need maintenance at the end of the day but I feel like this is also something that's not really talked about it's not really shown network <laughs> Okay. Fungo. Hindi tu 
tunaita queen excluder oh. hii ndio tunaita queen excluder <laughs> okay. sasa hapa ndio utakuja sasa kama queen excluder hapo mm. unakuja unaekelea hiyo super mm. eh sasa wakazi wanapita kwa hii waya kwa hii mm. mashimo wanapita juu hii ni ya kuosha kwa sawa haya unaanzia unangoga unangoga Masikia, masikia, saunda Masikia, masikia Masikia, hiyo ikona kitu Ikona kitu Hiyo iko Masikia, the dream dances Ya, kulisa, kulisa Sasa unaanzanga hapa Wangalia bene Si stuke Sawa Eee Unaona siko na hazari na siko na nini na pole. Unaona? Unaona tumaje? Mm. Kama ni wanda ya ngini tuke kwa tume chapo wa Beekeeping is a profitable venture in Kenya Apart from honey, bees also produce various products like beeswax, propolis royal jelly etc making it one of the most viable economic activities jonah told us that our suits are white in color because bees react strongly to dark colors beekeeping by humans started about 10,000 years ago and right now you can see the progress you guys have made we came from that part and right now going up so we just luck so hi my name is Jason Druno but my friends call me El Nyuki I am a beekeeper bee enthusiast beekeeping consultant um, yeah basically I travel the country and other parts of the world just teaching and talking about bees and teaching the art of beekeeping. Beekeeping has been the most fulfilling job I've ever had. You see how bees can transform the lives of people who interact with them. I've seen farmers who, and I can share many examples, if it's macadamia farmers in Kitale, who we've seen in recording an increase of 70% in yields. Uh, close by here in Othaya, we have uh, an avocado farmer we are working with, and after installing beehives, her production just went crazy. So a curi curiosity is a good place to start. But I always tell people, start small. Don't rush to buy so many hives. There is so much to learn. The thing I can guarantee you is that you'll make a lot of mistakes. Most people who start big, I've noticed, end up giving up somewhere in the middle. It's easier to start small and then build your capacity as you, as you move along, the more experienced you get. It's also so important that you get somebody who's experienced to handhold you. It's not, people have the misconception that beekeeping is easy. At you a two box kwa corner, uko kwa shamba, then you just wait. <laughs> no, it can be very profitable, but that, what that calls for is for a lot of interaction with your bees. You have to check on them, in the, especially in the beginning, every two weeks, every two weeks. Then you go to a month as the colony is growing. So it's not, please lose that conception that it's easy. When you set up a beehive, there are bees that are called scout bees. They are always out looking for new spaces. So when the scout bees see your hive and they like it, they will go back and invite the whole colony. So the whole family will just move in. So most people assume that we install the bee, beehives and then put a queen there. No, it doesn't work like that. The bees will actually come. Uh, there's a way we set it up, we perfume the, the, the hive so that the bees are curious to just come and see. Once they come and they, the scout bees approve, 
you can trust that the colony will come. So you could have an empty hive here today, tomorrow you come and find it's occupied. Have the community in mind. Please do not install your beehives. There now it becomes a contentious issue with you and your neighbor. We've seen cases where a cow or livestock has been stung to death. You know, Shindapo na Makesi, Ukiti wa chief. So do it pole pole and involve your community. Because it makes no sense if you're having beehives in your farm, but your next door neighbor is using a lot of pesticides. But I, what I want to say is this. When you're starting this venture, please do not focus on the profit first. Remember, when you're working with bees, you're also working with the environment. You could find someone in Makweni installed beehives today, and in three months they are already harvesting. While somebody else, somewhere like now, these parts of Kenya where we are is a bit cold, you find maybe they won't harvest in a long time. So there's a lot of other factors. It's not just, it's, again, it's not one plus one equals two. It's not one hive gives you this amount of honey in this number of months. Actually, the first year, don't focus on profit. There's a lot of also learning about the seasons because when you taste honey, you're literally eating an environment because bees go to the flowers to collect nectar, they come back to the comb and regurgitate. However, with every hive you purchase, you should be able to return investment on your first harvest. Every box you see represents a family. It's a colony, and each colony has very different personalities. So every month, minimum twice, you have to get into the colony, clean the hive, because you also find other, other unwanted visitors there like spiders, sometimes we get rats, snakes. So you have to keep maintaining that cleanliness, because what happens, Sometimes when a spider moves in, the cobwebs become too much, the bees are like apana, so they abscond. So please, most people do not reap profits because they just have a box at the corner of the farm, which they get some old person. There is nothing wrong with being old, but basically like just someone who comes to open and tell them, kuna sali ama kuna, and maybe they come once a year. And one thing I tell farmers is you must perceive and see the bee itself, the insect, as a major, major stakeholder in your farming practice. For that reason, you, if you're doing beekeeping, farm with the bees in mind. You can make it complementary. So say if you plant fruit trees, that you add beehives. I told you about a farmer in Othaya who now is getting a lot of avocado because of uh, uh, considering the bees. And there are major stakeholders in that operation. But what, so you see the bees have food in terms of nectar, and then the, your plants are pollinated, so you've created an ecosystem that works. If you're using pesticides, you're doing zero work because you, either your honey will be contaminated or your bees will die. It's one or the other. Major one is environmental degradation. Uh, that one, it's affecting our bees so much, it's affecting us. There's also heavy, heavy pesticide usage. You can't have your cake and eat it. You can't be the one using a lot of pesticides and thinking that you'll harvest honey. You'll get honey, yes, but what's, what's the quality of the honey? First, stop the usage of pesticides. Go the organic way. Find organic ways to use uh, organic herbicides and all that, but don't use chemical pesticides. That one, don't. I run a, a business called OK Honey Market. Basically, what we do is we handhold farmers, we train, we teach, we consult, but more importantly, we also educate consumers. Most people don't know this, but honey is the most common and consistent product of bees, but it's the cheapest. There are five others. There's propolis, there's wax, there's royal jelly, uh, there's venom, there's pollen, and all these have a good market and they fetch good prices. But most people just focus on the honey. But honey is the most consistent. So we also educate consumers on the health benefits of not just of consuming bee products, but also bees as an insect. They are very beneficial to us. You can register for courses. There are one-day courses for as little as 2,000. You can come for a master class like this one of mine. You can go to the National Beekeeping Institute. They have a one-week course, but they also have a one-year diploma. So all you really need is the interest and also accept that you will make mistakes along the way. By year two, year three there, I think if you're consistent with your work, if you're consistently learning from your mistakes, consistently researching and, you know, reaching out to a mentor, working, or working with a group of people, so you're co continuously learning. Plug in with uh, other beekeepers. There are beekeepers everywhere. We have WhatsApp group for farmers, for beekeepers. So you really need to 
Nobody will do anything for you. You have to have the, you have to push yourself. There is a lot of opportunity in beekeeping. We are currently only meeting 20% of a market share. So there is a whole gap of 80%, which is met by one, ukarabati, and two, importation. That's how that gap is being filled. So there is enough for you. When you become a beekeeper, don't come with a, please don't come with a, with a mindset of, um, what do you call that mindset? A mentality of lack. Come with a mentality of abundance. There's, there's a whole 80% market share. We, 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 you can't, you can, even if you are the only beekeeper in this country, you can't meet the demand. But customers need to buy honey that they trust. So also take, give yourself time to build customer con confidence, consumer confidence, um, and we're here to help you if you need that help. So my handle is at Jason Runo. Uh, you can check me out across all platforms and also OK Honey KE. Beekeeping enhances pollination for plants and provide crucial support to the surrounding ecology. They help the success of annual crop yielding, plus local fauna and flora can flourish in an expansive ecosystem. It was a day well spent and I hope you got something valuable from this video. Meanwhile, please go check out Jason Runo and OK Honey for more details. Thank you so much for watching guys. Till the next one, see you then.